All right, we're going? Okay, agents out here again. We're gonna work on a core abdominal type of routine. It's really kind of a combination exercise. Uh, sort of as abdominal as well as core, stabilizes both areas. All right. Um, there's probably a name for this exercise. I don't know what it's called. I've asked a number of people. They don't seem to have a name for it. I'm sure some viewer will comment. Well, everybody who's seen me do this or has tried it themselves calls it the abs of death. So for no other better name, that's what I'm calling it too. <laughs> abs of death because when you're done, you either know you're still alive or you've died. <laughs> <laughs> this is an advanced exercise. This is not something for the weak of heart or people who have not got good, strong core to begin with. So you almost have to work at other core exercises and ab exercises before you're ready to try this. Uh, one of my buddies here at uh, Cornerstone Fitness named Rob showed this exercise to me. And when I first tried it, I could either go down to the floor and couldn't get up, or I could uh, come up but couldn't go back down. And no matter what weight combination I tried, it didn't make any difference. I just didn't have the core strength to make this thing happen. All right, well, I'm sure it's an interesting backstory, so, but I only have limited space on my camera. Yes, Christopher. It took me a couple of years of working other ab exercises, which we'll cover in other segments, before I was ready to do this. I'm now at a point where I will do three sets of this. So here's how it works. Get yourself a triangle of some sort, or a cable machine. All right. You're gonna set the weight, and it's more like a cantilever weight. So right now I have this set at about 120 pounds. 120? All right. All right, but depending on your body weight, you may want more, you may want less. You want enough weight that you can physically pull yourself down to the floor with it, but it'll also pull you back up, and you resist as it's pulling you back up. That's the whole point. I'm also not gonna come up more than about 12 to 14 inches off of the floor between the distance of my face to the floor. And I'm only gonna bend at the knees. I'm gonna kneel on this pad here, and I'm just gonna bend at the knees only. Everything else stays completely straight. Okay. No bending at the waist. The waist stays straight, the head stays straight, and I'm almost gonna bring my chin right to the floor. All right. So we'll do a set. I usually do this in a 12, 11, 10 sequence, so I'll do 12, take a break for 20 seconds, and then do 11, another break for 20 seconds, and then do 10. By the time I get to the end of that last set of 10, that's when it's really pretty well spent. Okay? All right, let's see what this so does. Here's how this looks. All right. was a little bit much for me. Let's put it at 120 and see if that's improved. I tried this at 130 once uh, a couple months ago and it was too much. I got five of these, you know what I'd like to do. Alright. Let's see if this works. Mm -hmm. Holy crap, it's like a handless push-up. That is honestly impressive. Holy crap, that's awesome. And I let that up slowly so I don't break the weights on the way up. As you can see by my little bit labored breathing, this is a hard exercise. It looks hard. This makes your entire front, top to bottom of your chest, your abs, your waist work to keep you completely straight. So the only thing that's bending is your knees. Nothing else. Very difficult to do. This is a precursor exercise to dragonflies, which we'll show in another segment. That's probably the hardest of all the ab exercises I do. All right, now I'll probably show that last. <laughs> that is definitely an advanced exercise, as is this one. The only other exercise that's abdominal related that's probably in equal span of difficulty is hanging from a bar by your knees and doing uh, sit-ups from that position. Okay. 
I don't do those because it's too hard on my knees. <laughs> okay, well this is already five minutes. Let's. So let's, let's try another on. set of this. I'm gonna try to do eleven of them now. All right. Notice that I don't do this real fast. The more you can control it at a slower speed, the harder it is. You got a lot more out of it that way. Okay. If you bounce notice. up and down, you're it's basically momentum, nothing. And you don't get as much out of it. This is the harder way to do it, but this is the best way to do it. This is definitely something you want to do early in your routine for the evening. Don't save it to the end when you burn off all your sugar. <laughs> You won't have the energy to do it. I'm in the early stages of my routine, so that's why this is one of the early things I do. All right. All right. I might try something like this. Like I said, though, you got to have a reasonably strong core to even attempt this. I've had a lot of folks that I have shown who will come here regularly to the gym can't do any of these. And the ones that do try for the first time have to come way up and use momentum to get back down because they can't control the movement and do it slow. All right. It takes a while to build up to this. All right, let's do this. It took me two years to have the strength to try it, and I've been doing this for about two and a half years since, and I'm just now at a point where I feel like I've kind of mastered it, but it still takes a lot out of me. I'm just waiting for the cable to break and you just fall flat on your face. <laughs> I seriously think that's going to happen one of these times when I'm recording. It's also harder to do this when you're trying not to laugh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All yours. That's the abs of death. Wow. Well, yeah, you're not kidding. That can certainly kill you. To work up to this, do planks. Do some uh, decline bench sit-ups with some weights over time. Cable crunches, those kind of things will help you prepare to do this. All right, I got enough recording space for one more today. All right, all right.